The Rainy Day by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, published in 1839, from Famous Poems Explained by Waitman Barb. The Rainy Day is a little poem perfect in form and true in its interpretation of life. Notice in the first stanza the picture of a vine clinging to an old grey stone wall. It is the fall of the year. The wind is blowing through the cold rain, and the leaves are falling from the vine. If the reader is familiar with any such scene as this, he should imagine it before passing on to the reading of the next stanza. He cannot understand the rest of the poem unless he knows or can imagine what an old vine-covered wall is like in the fall of the year, when the leaves turn yellow and brown and the wind and rain scatter them over the ground. In the second stanza, the facts of nature pictured in the first stanza are applied to life. Thoughts are the vines, the past years are the old grey wall, and the hopes of youth are the dead leaves that fall thick in the blast. The wind and the rain are the sorrows and the griefs of life. Notice that stanza one interprets stanza two, line for line. For example, compare the third line of the first stanza with the third line of the second, and the fourth line of the first with the fourth line of the second. The Rainy Day by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow The day is cold and dark and dreary. It rains and the wind is never weary. The vine still clings to the mouldering wall, but at every gust the dead leaves fall, and the day is dark and dreary. My life is cold and dark and dreary. It rains and the wind is never weary. My thoughts still cling to the mouldering past, but the hopes of youth fall thick in the blast, and the days are dark and dreary. Be still, sad heart, and cease repining. Behind the clouds is the sun still shining. Thy fate is the common fate of all. Into each life some rain must fall, some days must be dark and dreary.